quick, let's go ahead and, and log into to my MLS system. Uh, we are in Dallas, so we use the Netris system, which is North Texas Real Estate Information Systems. Uh, and I personally like to use Inovia. I think it's a little bit uh, user friendly. But I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, what a waste of time and how many literally hours you would take me to go ahead and, and, and do what I want to do within the system. Uh, first off, let me show you a little spreadsheet that I created. This is just uh, some zip codes that I know uh, there are some great uh, real estate investor activity. I know they are buying cash and there are a lot of sales in these zip codes here. Now, within the years, I mean, I've been doing this for since 2008. So within the years, my list has grown. So this is not updated just because of the new system that we are using. But I want to give you an example of how many hours you would take for me to do this. Uh, first off, I would have to break it down by zip code. I would have to come up uh, with an average sales price, an average square footage price, the average days on the market, so I can see how the, the market is around that area. And then I would have to, to break it down by 90 cents on the dollar, 80 cents, 70 cents, 60 cents, 50 cents on the dollar, and 40 cents on the dollar. So I would have to do this every three months, pretty much, because, you know, the market is constantly changing. So I need accurate data of what's working now, not what's working a year ago. So it would be great if I could set this up uh, one time and then uh, I always use the same information. But no, I need to do this every three months. So every three months, I have to pull up my MLS. I have to do every single search on what's out there on these zip codes. If I would average about, maybe I can get it done in, in half an hour for each zip code. I mean, just this here alone, that's uh, how many zip codes is that? That's about, you know, 66 zip codes just for me, for myself. That's not even if I'm working with any clients or if I'm outside any other markets, that's just me. So let's let's take Carrollton for example, seven five zero zero six. Every three months, this is what I would have to do. All right, so I would go under search, uh, search for residential. I'm gonna go ahead and have a a look of what's going on in in the market there at seven five zero zero six as a as an example, and um. I'm going to go back three months uh, and see what we got. I'm just going to go underneath here and input uh, the zip code that I'm searching. And, and if I wanted to break down off exactly the properties that I'm actually going to, going to wholesale, uh, I'd go ahead and, and kind of get more into detail of the the max um, ARV that I want, the year built, and this, the minimum square footage and all that good stuff. But right now, I'm just going to kind of break it down and see what's going on in the market altogether, just because I don't have any other tools to do that. So it's just an estimation. Uh, I don't have the time to to break everything down, so it's just a very rough estimate of what's going on out there. And this is before our system. This is the best I would be able to do is come over here and kind of give get an idea of how much um, the average sales price and the average days on the market and how much it's going for. So I would have to do that, uh, take that into consideration, and then I'd go ahead, I'd go ahead and, and save myself as a client so I can be notified if there are any any new properties listed in the market that might be you know a little bit below uh, asking price of what the what what the average sales price is 
So I'd have to go back all the way to search and start from scratch. And I would go ahead and input my information. And let's say if if I came up with uh, the average sale price of $81.54, then I, I'd go back in here. And I'd have to input into my into my database uh, the average sales uh, square footage price. I'd put it here, and it would break it down for me. So let's say for this example, if it was fifty-two dollars and sixty-seven cents, then I I wouldn't know of anything that's you know at least twenty percent or maybe ten percent off, and then I can start there and discount it. Uh, from the listing price, maybe eight or ten percent. So I would start somewhere between these two. Let's take ninety cents uh, on the dollar, for example, and I would set set my notification of forty seven dollars per square footage. So I'd have to go in here, uh, and I'd, I'd have to input all the information that I want, and under the square footage price. Uh, I would put the highest that I want is $47 uh, based on my square footage. And I'd go down here and I would input my zip code that I'm working on. So based on that, uh, I'd go ahead and save prospect, which that's going to be myself. So uh, I'd go ahead and name it as my zip code. And I, I would input my email address here. And then uh, we would I would notify myself. I go ahead and select OK. Uh, and now from from then on, anything that's you know listed in the market that is uh, at least or at least forty-seven dollars in the square footage, I'd go ahead and get notified. And it would just look something like this. Let's pull up my email here. It would look look like something like this. Um, I get a notification on on anything that's new. But if you see here, that's what well, that's one listing. That's another listing. That's not very accurate. That's not very efficient use of my time to spend hours uh, coming up with this list every three months. Uh, and then going back to my MLS system and then putting all this individual searches uh, and go from there. That, that's not I don't like this. Uh, this is what I like better. How about just logging into one system? Going back to city where what we're working on, we're working in Carrollton, zip code 75006. How about I just go in here under my login screen underneath the last 15 days. Let's go ahead and select city. Uh, we're going to select Carrollton. We're going to submit. And right here, it's going to give me a breakdown of what's going on in one screen. There was none of coming up with a spreadsheet, uh, none of that coming up with or CMAs on sold and coming up with an average asking price and and all that stuff. The system automatically will tell you the estimated value on our our uh, template that we set up, which we know is accurate. Uh, and then it will break it down the estimated gross equity, the estimated percentage of equity. And right here, I'll have a breakdown of what's going on in the market. And that's it. Simple as that. Now. Think about it. How how many hours is that going to save you if you can just log in into one system uh, and have a look right there in front of you? Think about it.